Civil War reenactments. You've probably heard of them. You may have even been to one. Kitty Brent went with the Ball and Blues to a battle in North Carolina. The Kitty? Travis? The Ball and Blues. You may think that that's something you get from staying in Milledgeville too long. Actually, the Baldwin Blues are a group of Civil War reenactors from Milledgeville. Millersville is a city known for its history. After all, it was the capital of Georgia before Atlanta. Memory Hill Cemetery is proof of the city's historical value. Among the graves here in Memory Hill are those of many soldiers who gave their lives during the Civil War. Civil War reenacting has become more prominent over the past few years. Central Georgia Tonight accompanied the 4th Georgia Battalion to the Battle of Secessionville and found out the history of the Baldwin Blues. Good evening. Uh, my name is Major Steve Bacon. I'm the commander of the uh, 4th Georgia Volunteer Infantry, uh, Company H, the Baldwin Blues. Uh, I'm a Civil War reenactor, and I represent the command structure of the real 4th Georgia that actually participated in the war between the states. The 4th Georgia was a very glorious unit. Uh, the flag that you see in front of me here, uh, which I hope you can see, is the uh, third of the four battle flags that actually was uh, used by the 4th Georgia. This was the 1863-64 St. Andrew's Cross with the orange border that went around it, two-inch orange border. Uh, it saw such combat as uh, Gettysburg and uh, Spotsylvania. The 4th uh, the Georgia started out in 1861 uh, as a militia unit, and it actually existed before that. It was a participant, one of the few participants from Georgia that actually participated in a uh, war against Mexico. And uh, it was one of the two units that assaulted uh, the bridges in Mexico City. And uh, it has as much a claim to fame to the halls of Montezuma as the Marine Corps does. Uh, after the war with Mexico, uh, it reverted back to a strictly a militia unit. And then at the beginning of the war in 1861, uh, it uh, was uh, instantly called up and uh, was joined with companies from nine other counties and uh, formed in Augusta, Georgia. At that point, it was uh, uh, not under the command of anybody until it was actually chartered. And at that point, uh, the commander of the Baldwin Blues, Company H from Milledgeville, was elevated from the rank of uh, captain to full colonel and was became, uh, became the uh, regimental commander of uh, the 4th Georgia. It was then sent uh, directly from Augusta straight north to uh, uh, support the Army of Northern Virginia, and it was placed into a combat environment uh, near Norfolk, where the 4th Georgia personally watched uh, the battle between the two ironclads, the Monitor and the Virginia, uh, in early 1862. Uh, Mid-1862, when uh, Joseph Johnston uh, was eventually uh, wounded, and uh, the Peninsular Campaign was winding down. Robert E. Lee replaced him, and the 4th Georgia was attached to Robert E. Lee officially. At that point, uh, the 4th Georgia was part of what was known as uh, the Dole's Cook Brigade. Uh, Cook, of course, uh, was not there yet. Uh, George Dole's uh, was part of Rhodes's uh, division. And uh, it, at that time, had uh, two Georgia units and two North Carolina units. It fought like that. Uh, in such events as uh, Second Manassas, uh, Antietam, and uh, eventually up to Gettysburg. Uh, about the time that it was getting ready to participate in Gettysburg, the 4th Georgia was, uh, was joined uh, by two more Georgia units, and the North Carolina units were detached, so it became an all-Georgia Doles Cook Brigade. Eventually, uh, George Doles, who was the commander of the 4th Georgia, became commander and brigadier general of all four units participating at Gettysburg, the Mule Shoe at, uh, uh, in uh, Virginia, uh, participant in such battles as uh, Chancellorsville, Fredericksburg, and so on. And toward the very end of the war, 
after uh, the South was uh, nearly uh, in the defeated status. Uh, Fourth Georgia was a participant in the bloody siege for nine months at uh, Petersburg, whereupon almost at the last minute, George Doles, the commander of the Fourth Georgia, was mortally wounded in combat. In April 1865, the Fourth Georgia, which started out with exactly 1,000 men, surrendered at Appomattox Courthouse with a grand total of 57 men still alive. The 4th Georgia, what was left of it, uh, Company H from Milledgeville, had three survivors who eventually ended up back in Milledgeville. Uh, those three uh, rebuilt Baldwin Blues, and it became sort of an honorary militia unit. And the uh, Baldwin Blues existed uh, as a uh, social club, more or less, until around the year 1900, when it was completely disbanded. Approximately two years ago, uh, since Civil War reenacting has uh, grown in size uh, for such a long time, and I moved to Milledgeville, I decided to tr uh, try and recreate uh, this glorious unit, and I've been fairly successful. Uh, the Baldwin Blues now is ex in existence again, and members have come and gone, but Fourth Georgia continues on. And uh, we are here today at uh, a battle just outside of Charleston, known as the Battle of Secessionville. Uh, the 4th Georgia did not participate in the actual battle here, but we have been asked to uh, participate because of our, our uh, authenticity. Like I said, I'm a Civil War reenactor. I do this because I portray history. I love history, and I want to portray history accurately. And I want to educate the public so that they have a clear understanding of exactly how the war was actually conducted.